Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and model the wheel for our vehicle here. And we're only going to model one since we don't have to model all four of them. And as it, again, this is just an image that I've uh, downloaded from Google and I uh, searched for a vintage classic car tire and wheel. And this is basically going to be very simple. It's just a poly cylinder that we need to uh, go ahead and extrude and, and shape so that it's going to fit our vehicle. And as you can see, I'm deleting one half there. And we're going to make not only the tire here, but we're going to be able to make the rim from it as well. And we just needed to try to try to get a style that's actually going to um, fit our vehicle. We don't really want a um, a modern day type of wheel. Um, I could have just imported a model from a pre-made model that I had. But I figure, you know, let's just go ahead and, and make a complete tire since it's not necessarily that difficult. It's only going to take us probably about 15 minutes. And it's not really that complex. It's just a, a basic single shape. You know, we don't really have to fully detail with treads and stuff. And so we can simply just, you know, go about it that way. And there's something wrong with the mirror there, so we'll just go ahead and duplicate the. Or we're going to go ahead and select these faces first. So that we can <coughs> go ahead and make our rim. I'm just trying to match the the line on the tire there. So all of this is, is basically going to match properly. And as you can see, I'm just duplicating faces again. And we're just going to go ahead and delete the inner part of these faces here since we aren't really going to need them for the inside of the tire. And we'll go ahead and start making our rim here. Scale it up a little bit so that it's going to cover the edge of the tire. And as you can see, I tend to use that <coughs> inset tool a lot. And it's very valuable. And that's just simply from creative crash. The guy who made that was just absolutely pure genius. I mean Max has had it for so long that <coughs> in my it's never had it so you know it definitely genius to go ahead and bring that into Maya. And just continue to extrude our our rim here. And I'm also going to, um, and this is also a very important part, is you don't see a lot of people that uh, will actually model like the air nipple for, for the rim and to pump the tire up. But what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to duplicate the <coughs> top part of our antenna and place it onto our rim so that we actually have that, that little bit of extra detail for ve for our vehicle and you won't see a lot of people do that simply because they think that you know well, it's not going to be seen but if you look close at models it does get seen and it does get seen a lot so um, that definitely adds to to models and shows people that you know hey you're you're willing to go the extra mile to to go ahead and create an excellent c car model and so you know you if you ever get the chance to go ahead and put stuff in like like that into your models, I would say go ahead and do it because it's very important. It just shows that you know you're willing to go that extra mile. And 
and as you can see within about 10 minutes or so we can you know make a decent looking rim for our car I just need to delete the back faces for for the rim model here the innermost piece and I'm just going to go ahead and delete these and I select one too many faces there go ahead and delete those off the model and just continue to, to work on the rim for our car here I'm going to go ahead and extrude in here so that our rim actually has <laughs> some thickness to it. And so we can get somewhat of like a, a rounded shape to it. Just basically trying to line that all up so that whenever we mirror it it's going to you know mirror not only just the rim but it's also going to mirror the tire and just add a couple extra extra edge loops here so that everything's going to retain its shape and that's looking pretty good right now so now we need to go ahead and combine them and just make sure that we fix those edges there so that they're gonna match properly scale the middle of our tire up here just a little bit and we only really need to go ahead and extrude on one side of the tires rim here so that because you're not going to see the inner most part of it so we'll try and save a little bit of geometry even though we're already getting a uh, I don't want to say outrageous we're already getting you know a pretty good amount of geometry and we had these little last uh, extrusions here just to be able to add a little bit more shadow and just that little bit more detail and you can see where we have a, a pretty decent looking um, tire rim here, we just have to scale it down just a smidge And there you go, there's our tire and our rim.